Hey, how's it going and welcome to another video. All right, so I'm pretty deep into my second playthrough of SMT5. Probably within the next week or so, I would say to expect my video talking about the story. But as I was kind of thinking about it and sort of like reflecting on some of the other games, I, I came to a realization, which is that I have never, not once throughout my entire time playing this series, gotten a law root on my first playthrough. And I think I found that interesting, mostly just because like, out of all the games in the series, you would figure at some point, at least once it would have happened, like the stars would have aligned and I would have said, yeah, you know what, this time I'm going law, but it's just never happened. And I figured I'd take a little bit to talk about why I think that is. Like, this is mostly just a personal thing. I'm not really here to be like, all right, it's time to epically debunk law because I don't really care. Like, this video really isn't a, okay, here is why law is wrong kind of thing. It's more so just me kind of trying to figure out like, why I found the law roots to be so unappealing in the past and like even now. Since I'm really not like this compulsive law hater kind of person, like I'll say that I actually really prefer the overall kind of like aesthetic and like I guess design philosophy of law. Angels and that very like holy sort of appearance I think is super cool. I would say I generally like vastly prefer the designs of the law demons as opposed to a lot of the chaos and even neutral guys. Law usually also has music that I'm more into like the law theme from SMT1 is one of my favorite songs from across like the entire series. So you would figure with all that at some point I would have been like, all right, you know what? Law is the way to go this time, but it just never happened. And the obvious answer is pretty much just like, yeah, I just like neutral and chaos more. And I'm definitely not alone on this. Like I don't really have a good way of proving this, but it generally feels like more people are more into the neutral and chaos side of things. There's definitely a lot of law boys out there, but it kind of feels like in general, like neutral and chaos is the more popular pick. So even though this is definitely more of like a personal thing, I'd imagine a lot of people can probably relate. And even if they're open to the idea of going law, for whatever reason, just certain factors just kind of stop them from doing it. So I guess I'll start by talking about the law character. So I think at least for me, one of the bigger kind of hurdles when it comes to like getting into law, <laughs> I like describing law as if it's like an anime or something. It's like, yeah, you want to you wanna get into law? You know, if I want to get into law, should I start with the manga or the anime? But yeah, I think one of the bigger issues for me is really just the lack of law characters that I really like or that I can like attach myself to. I was kind of amazed to find that like I was perusing through the wiki just trying to look at all the different law characters and I didn't even need one hand to count all the characters that I sat there and thought, you know what? I like this character. I'll kind of talk about some of the characters I do like later on, but I find in general, I just like, I just can't vibe with law characters. I don't know if it's like an inherent thing about them, but when it comes to basically all these guys, I've either thought like, yeah, you're kind of annoying or you're overbearing or you're just, I just don't really want to be around you or you're too pushy with your beliefs. This is kind of just like, I guess, an inevitable consequence of characters that are so like fixated on order and the worship of God and stuff. But I find a lot of the time they just have this kind of like Jehovah's Witness sort of problem. In general, what happens is the character is more so kind of chill. They're like, yeah, whatever. I just believe in order and like God is pretty cool. And these demons are causing a lot of problems here, man. And even if for some characters it's a pretty gradual thing, there are also law characters that are just like immediately fuck you <laughs> when it comes to like just your existence. SMT5 I think has a really really good example of a character like that to where it's like I, I don't really feel like I have a good reason to join you on a purely personal level. You know we get past the whole like freedom versus order like debate. I just don't really want to be around you. <laughs> I think I've definitely throughout SMT had these like especially chaos and neutral characters where I stopped and thought yeah you know what I think I'll go chaos and neutral because I'll get to hang out with this character. It's like, oh man, hmm, Isabeau is gonna be my buddy if I go neutral in SMT4? Neutral's looking a lot more appealing. So sometimes it more so almost comes down to this problem of like, okay, who would I rather spend the rest of the game with? And even if the chaos or neutral character is like, is still kind of annoying, a lot of the time I find they're still more pleasant than the law character of that game. Now there are good law characters. I think like one off the top of my head that I definitely like a lot is Amane from Devil Survivor. Since she never really gets into that kind of like Jehovah's Witness overbearing follow law or you're like fuck you kind of stuff. She's more so just like, yeah, like these demons are pretty bad. Uh, I hope you see the light, amen. 
And I think that makes the law ending in Devil Survivor feel a lot more inviting, since it feels a lot more like, you know what, if you believe in the Lord and salvation, like, I'll be waiting for you. The, cho the choice is yours. Another law character that I love very dearly is actually Mastema in SMT4. Mastema in 4 is probably unironically my favorite law character because he's so different from the typical angels and just like people that you kind of associate with law. That Mastema is a much more kind of like New Testament sort of figure. Since God in SMT is absolutely based on like Yahweh in the Old Testament, who's a very worship me, you shall have no other gods before me. If you don't obey me, then I'll kill you. I'll probably just kill you anyways, but just a very strict, firm, kind of dictatorial figure. Whereas Mastema takes the more so kind of like go to church on Sundays, but you, you got enough time to get home and go watch the football game. Like it's, you know, he's that kind of guy. Another character, that I really, really like is actually Satan. Since Satan kind of similar to like SMT4 Mastema, he's very much a order is good, the demons are bad, but it, it is possible that God is kind of being an asshole. Like he's that kind of figure. And see, those are the kinds of people that I'm okay with hanging out with. Like those are the guys who are like, yeah, you know what? I think my idea is better. You know, the, the insanity and madness of chaos is probably no bueno, but they're not a lunatic about it. Another thing that I think kind of keeps me from going law, and I'd imagine this is the same for a lot of people, is that I feel like law kind of takes away from the power fantasy of playing SMT. Since one of the most fun things about the entire series is just, you know, gathering this horde of demons and feeling like your character is super significant and super powerful. Feeling like your choices are going to dictate just like how the world ends up being. You know, that shit is rad. And I figure for a lot of people, they kind of feel the same way. You kind of start to feel like an errand boy instead of this all-powerful either like lord of chaos or this savior of humanity. Obviously, I guess that depends on like your interpretation of saving humanity, but a lot of the time it feels like when you go law, you're kind of just like bickered at. Go do this. Go carry out the Lord's will. Like us angels or whatever it is, like we're, you, we're really the ones running the show. You're just going to be a good little errand boy. Carry out the Lord's will. And I'm kind of just like, fuck you, man. <laughs> and I don't think that like Every law route has this problem. I think Devil Survivor does a pretty good job at kind of balancing out the two to where you still feel like a big shit cool guy. You're just like, you're God's big shit cool guy. Whereas in a lot of the other law endings, it kind of feels like, yeah, you're God's big shit cool guy for now, but you're ultimately kind of disposable. And speaking of God, so this is kind of something that I've started to kind of realize or kind of think about law is that I, I'm kind of under the belief that law is better when it's as far removed from like Yahweh, YHVH, whatever you want to call him as possible. But this is kind of just a problem that I think is sort of like inherent to the series. Like it's kind of been this way since Megami Tensei 2. And it's that God has basically been propped up as being the final boss for fucking 35 years just about. And it's so hard to get away from that because like, I feel like kind of objectively, no matter how you look at it, even if you're looking at it from the perspective of somebody who supports law, it's kind of hard to get away from the fact that the series has written itself so that God is like, he is the final boss. I don't remember if this is the case in Megami Tensei 2, but in 2 and 4 Apocalypse, he's the final boss no matter which ending you pick. It's kind of funny, like the same thing happens in both of those games to where Satan, who's like Satan, is kind of God's like right hand man. Satan is kind of the ultimate law guy who isn't God himself. And in both of those games, Satan is like, dude, God has gone way too far. This is not, <laughs> this is no good. And as a result of that, I feel like no matter what, the kind of objective endpoint of every discussion about law kind of goes towards God is an asshole. And it's kind of hard to argue that fact because the games themselves just like pretty much admit to it, right? And so at least to me, it's kind of hard to align myself with that when I kind of have the knowledge that no matter what, this dude is, he's kind of a bad guy, like no matter how you look at it. And I think they've managed to do a much better job with this when it comes to Lucifer, because even though Lucifer is kind of propped up as being like, all right, if God is not the bad guy, then it's Lucifer. But I think Lucifer manages to have a lot more varied philosophies, even though at the core of the argument, it's always like God is bad and freedom is good. There's usually little nuances and kind of subtle quirks about each incarnation of Lucifer that makes him a little bit different. You know, in 
Nocturne, for example, he basically just wants to fucking wipe out creation or at least all of God's creations. And then like in Strange Journey, he has a quote where he's like, I have no love for humanity, but I won't abandon them. And then in some games, like in SMT4, he has more of kind of a love for humanity. So there's just these little quirks about Lucifer that I think it makes it a little bit easier to kind of debate about him and his role. Since you might be like, yeah, Lucifer this time around, he's kind of an asshole. I'm, I'm just not really vibing with this guy. You know, I appreciate the idea, but you're kind of going too far with it. And then sometimes he's kind of presented in a better light, but whereas with God, who's such an established figure, like he pretty much has the same personality and whenever he appears. So you kind of end up with this situation where the character is either just like a no-show. In most of the games, he's just like alluded to. You know, SMT1, he doesn't show up. He doesn't show up in Nocturne. He doesn't show up in regular SMT4. Doesn't show up in either of the Devil Survivor games. So a lot of the time, the angels are more so acting in his place. Since then it becomes a lot easier, I think, to argue for law because, dude, God is gone, so... Then the single biggest sticking point of that alignment is nowhere to be seen. So I'm not really sitting there thinking like, yeah, like I would join up with Law, but I kind of know what your boss is like, so... So I think that might honestly be the biggest problem when it comes to Law just is kind of like the God Dilemma. Dude, the God Dilemma sounds like a video of fucking... 2012 YouTube atheist <laughs> would have put out. And I think that's why the endings of Devil Survivor and SMT2 are the ones I kind of vibe with the most. Because the ultimate message of those is more or less just like, yeah, order is probably the best course for humanity, but God is still a tyrant and like pretty bad. So I think that's the kind of law route I'd totally be down to do. Just having this kind of figure who's like, you know what, we're going to stop chaos and we're going to reform law. At that point, I think I'd be like, well, shit, sign me up. That's, that sounds pretty good. So yeah, I honestly wish Law was something I could vibe with more. It's just, there's so many little things about it that kind of add up that make me just really not want anything to do with it. And I think that kind of sucks because I, I don't really like the idea of having an option in a video game that I just hate. I really do truly want to sit there and look at all these endings and think, yeah, you know what? This seems like a good idea. Since man, those angels are fucking cool. Law has such a great aesthetic. I, I kind of feel bad because I really want to be a part of that, but the whole rest of it is just not particularly appealing to me. But yeah, that has been the video. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.